well, the last one wasn't good enough for you, was it? Okay, okay, I see I see how it is. I see how it is. So you bring me all the way back here into the nether just for me to expose my bread and butter. Really? You're gonna get you're gonna want yeah fine. I'll give it away. Okay, now this gold farm, this one is absolutely insane. The other one a couple days ago was insane, but this one, yeah, it's insane. We're only gonna put 19 layers on it, okay? Just to flex a little bit. Okay, these are the only items that you need right here, okay? This is it. For the entire farm, plus a little bit more magma. So for the entire farm, you need 2.5, two and a half double chests full of magmas, okay? And since we're gonna be turning this into an AFK thing too as well, this is the extra stuff that we're gonna bring along with us. So take a good look at it. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna put down three temporary blocks like so. You got it? And then we're gonna go sticky piston, slime block. We're gonna put temporary block on the back and we're actually gonna make this four long in total. Okay, like so. We're gonna turn the corner and put three more, making it a four by four. We're gonna wrap it around and put a solid block right there. Now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna go one, two, and three. Just like that, we're gonna take another sticky piston. We're gonna place it there. Slime block facing inwards. Sticky piston on this block right here and another one on top of it staggered like so. This is what you should have. You're gonna to wanna to remove these blocks from underneath too so that way they don't lock up. Now we're gonna go redstone dust, redstone dust. Repeater, 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 repeater. Okay. <laughs> All of these except for these two right here are gonna be on the fourth tick. Okay, so first tick on those ones, four, 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 and four on these ones. Now we're gonna go glass, glass in front of these right here. We'll fill in the rest with all of our redstone. And then to power this, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna put a block here or a button in on this side. We're gonna put down a redstone torch and then remove it. And that's gonna fire everything back and forwards like that. Remove that block too, you don't want that to be a spawnable block. Okay, so everything should be going back and forwards like so. This is what it should look like here from the top side, okay? It's very simple, very straightforward. Okay, now we're gonna put a temporary block in front of this slime block, obsidian on this side, obsidian on the other side like so, and one more on top of the actual slime block just like that. We're gonna put two more on top of this one, leaving ourselves a little hole right here. We can now remove this temporary block. This is what you should have, okay? So all the items are gonna basically fall down right here on top of these two things or these three things I should say. And now using our glass, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring these sides up right here and we're gonna bring this all the way around. Okay, like so. And then we're gonna bring it up one more layer in order to kind of encase this. And we're gonna put one more right here. Build this all up one more layer. Now above this back piston, what we want is we want this to be three high in total. So we'll jump up two. We want it to be one high on this side and two high on this side with another two high on the back. We're gonna wanna place some solid blocks right here. We're then gonna place three droppers facing in, another one facing in like so, same with that one, and then three more on this side facing in. Now what we wanna do is we wanna put some temporary blocks along the little hole there, and we're gonna build up, and on the back side, the one away from the item sorter, we want a dropper facing down into this dropper right here. And then on the opposite side, on the front side towards the item sorter, we actually want another one facing down and in. So facing the item sorter, that is what everything should look like. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10 is the other one dropping down into this dropper right here. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put two trap doors right like this so that way we can't fall in. Now we're gonna take our hoppers and we're gonna face two going into those side droppers like so. Another two in the middle split going either direction and then one, two, and three on the back side. Now we're gonna place glass, glass in this little corner section right here. Another three hoppers all going down into those droppers right there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our iron bars, we're gonna create a little corner like so, and this is where we're gonna take our mine carts with hoppers and we're gonna push them into each of those corners. So place down your mine cart, fall down onto it to push it out, remove the rail, and then just kind of tuck it over into that corner and do the same thing on this side. And for the third one, you're just gonna put a rail down in the center. You're gonna make sure you put a wall on the outside so that way it can't push outwards. Place the rail down, fall down on top of it, remove the rail, place the minecart down, sorry. 
and then you just want to kind of step left and slowly start to push it towards that side there if you can so as you can see it's kind of tucked over and it won't go any farther between me and that minecart right there that is absolutely perfect and what we're going to do is we're going to place a hopper facing down like so okay now what we're going to do is we're going to put a temporary block here with a hopper facing into it we're going to remove that and we're going to run two hoppers facing into each other like so we now need to get another hopper facing down just randomly down into this minecart right here another hopper into the backdropper another hopper facing into that one another one into this one and then you're going to take your final three hoppers and go one two and three and from the top this is what the very top looks like this is from the back side with the mine carts. Remember to have that one mine cart kind of pushed over. And in the front, you just kind of want those ones filtering across and over to the front one, and they kind of take care of themselves. You'll see here when we get the rest all finished. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place a solid block here and another one down with another one behind it. And this is all on the dropper level. And then you want to wrap some solid blocks all the way out and around and then we're going to drop them down one just like we did on the other farm bring it out and then place another block down there this is where a repeater is going to go and we want to do the same thing on the other side so drop it down and run a row step it out one step it down one now we're going to go repeater repeater and on both sides we're going to have a repeater facing into those droppers right down here and then just fill the rest in with a whole bunch of redstone. Okay, now off of the front here. So this is technically the front where the inside of the item sorters and everything are going to be. We're just going to come underneath here. And what we're going to do is we're going to place out some temporary blocks. We're going to run them out. And we're actually going to make a little nook like that where we can remove the bottom ones here. We're going to bring this out two on this side and then one on the other side. We're gonna place four torches on either side and then just run some redstone dust in between and all around. Now, right here, what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna put a lever and this is gonna be used to stall everything. But yeah, this is going to be used in order to fire every single dropper that is in this system right here. And now what we need to do is we need to power this dropper right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run four blocks like so with a repeater going into that one and then some redstone dust coming out and around. And what that's gonna do is pick up on that signal and then power this dropper like so. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take some glass and we're actually going to build ourselves a little platform here to stand on. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put down nine pieces of carpet on top like so. And then we're gonna take our glass and from this hopper, we're gonna make a two high wall and we're gonna surround everything here. Whoa. With a two high wall. And then on the back of that wall, we're gonna put three iron bars, two more in the front on this side, two more like so. We're gonna have one trap door in the front like that with another one going into it where it can face down. Then we're gonna take our walls, bring our walls up one high on this side. And then we're gonna put a layer of walls around this entire thing. And we actually want this wall to be over top of these iron bars right here. And that is so that way in the center, we can put a temporary block with another one on top of it, a wall on this side, a wall on that side glass in the front glass in the back and then this is where we start to build our 32 high that's right our 32 high shoot of all walls and glass exactly how this is right here okay and once you were 32 blocks up so you have the front of the farm right there you can see by the little redstone on the switch too on the front one you want to bring it down just one extra block and that is where you're gonna start your magma block and then from this center point right here where they fall down you're gonna go eight blocks each direction okay so go eight out that way eight out that way eight out this way and eight out that way so eight this counts as one, two, do the same thing for this side, one, two, and then from this little corner one right here, what you want to do is you want to wrap your magma blocks out and around, leaving a two block air gap on the back side. So we'll bring these out and around, that'll be our two block air gap right there, okay, like so, then we're going to bring the walls out and around, we don't want to do that, over top of this air gap here. And then again, from the center point, so this is going to be one, two, three, four, and eight, right there. 
Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna fill all of this in except for the corners. We're just gonna shave the corners off, making it a nice little round circle. Okay, so this is the platform size right here. This is what I chose. Like I said, it's eight blocks each direction from the center there where they are going to fall down. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna place two trap doors in the center here on this glass, right on top of each other, with another one kind of facing down. And this is what's going to make them fall down this hole right here. If you have Frostwalker boots, you're not going to get burned walking on this stuff. We're going to come around to the back side. We're going to place down a turtle egg facing into that right there. And then really quickly before this guy notices it, we're going to bring the walls up here on the side up one block. And there he goes. That's how the gold farm works. Perfect example right there. Okay, now in order to stack this, just, yeah, jump up here on the inside. What we're going to do is we're going to bring it up actually three high. And then this third layer here is this is what's actually going to be where our next platform goes and we're just going to mirror exactly what we did here and we're actually going to repeat it 19 times in total okay but you only have to put a turtle egg on every other floor so you can skip the turtle egg on the next floor it's 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 pretty nice okay and once you have 19 layers all done oh i can already see them flowing in yep there you go okay so once we have 19 layers all done and complete, this is what you should have. It's beautiful. Now what we need to do is we need to stop the gas from spawning on top and completely ruining everybody's day. And starting right here from the center, what we're going to do is we're just going to run rows of glass from one end to the other. And once we're all done, this magnificent beast is what you should have right here. Now, you can put that glass layer around the top if you would like to in order to do, you know, the mob. I'm not that technical. I don't care. I'm not going to because I'll show you the rates here in a second. And, uh, yeah. And you also want the top centerpiece to look like this because the piglins need a two-block air gap above the turtle egg in order to notice it. But now, once you're all complete, you should have your 19 layers in place. Spawns. After spawns. Constantly. Especially when you've done the despawning underneath, too, as well. All of your drops should be getting spit out, sent down, and then passed down the line into the item sorters. If you're wondering, this entire item sorter right here is set up for gold nuggets. Okay, and now to make this thing so that you can AFK at it, what we're going to do is we're going to grab our lava bucket, our dispenser, some builder blocks, and a button, and then some torches too as well. Okay, so I've got my torches and everything here. And what we're going to do is we're actually going to build up, so starting from this piece of glass, we're gonna build up seven blocks, so one. Okay, and on this seventh one right here where we're standing, so not this one, the one below it, this is where we're actually going to put our dispenser. We're gonna put our lava bucket inside too, and then we're just gonna run a torch tower from the back side of this. So from the back side of this, all the way down, straight down, right here into a button now before you run your torches all the way up so you can see there i stopped a little bit early what you want to do is you actually want to count down five blocks below the dispenser there and then you want to put a torch and you can even do this from the bottom so you can see that's one block right there two three four and five so if we just sneak through you can see we can put the sign right there and then that is going to be enough in order to stop and slow everybody down and make this nice and af cable for us okay when we get our lava in place you can see here or when we get our torches in place you can see our lava does dispense slowing everybody down enough that they just kind of come to a nice little slow halt here and when we press that button it turns back off turning this back into its regular just straight up gold farming system so now we can just sit here farm these guys all we want and you can see there is no there is nothing sitting around even with that big build up right there not a thing okay now you can see here when we're all said and done we're all decorated this is what we should have okay it's my go it's my little go it's my gold little throne it's my gold throne now all we have to do is just hit this button activate the lava and we are basically done and ready to go and this is the same one so we still only have 19 layers okay you can count them there is no thingamabobbers around it in order to make it you know more efficient Now with everything properly despawned, you can see here, we've got ourselves pretty good flow of grub. Okay, now I've been hacking away here for a few minutes and you can see there's really no backup whatsoever. I mean, this thing just handles it. Handles it, handles it, handles it. Okay, so there it is. It's an absolute thing of beauty. Okay, 
It's, I know, it's beautiful. Look at it just flashing like a Christmas tree. Okay, and here we are over in the test world now. So you can see I've got the same farm set up here. This is the same one that I just kind of came up with. It has the same AFK system. The only thing different is that this one has the piston around the backside. So same little torch tower up to a sticky piston that is on a piece of glass in order to, like I said, allow you to work from here. If we release that, all of the drops are gonna come down. If you count them, you can see we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 layers, which is a full glass roof on top of it. We've got a mess of testing and assortment things all around here. We have the same farm size, same farming condition. Everything below us has been, you know, despawned and ready to go. We don't have the little ring around us in order to make it more efficient. But what we do have here is some wool and some hoppers. So now what we're going to do is... Let's just do a little test and see exactly how well these rates are. Okay, nothing else is coming out here. We have the counters on. Let's turn this back on. Okay, so the farm is back to activated mode. We're just going to let this run for a second in order to kind of stabilize and normalize. Okay, so we're not going to test this farm with looting three or fortune three or anything like that. We're going to kind of do this like we do with diamond mining, okay? So with diamond mining and netherite mining, we do it by the veins exposed. Okay, that's what everybody wants to know is by the veins exposed and not by how many you get per, you know, silk touch or fortune three or whatever. So we're going to do the same thing. We've been chatting now for a little bit. Let's see. Okay, we've kind of normalized out to about 20,000 drops per hour, which isn't too bad. And we're almost at the two minute mark now. And after about three minutes almost, you can see we have sort of, hang on, let me get back onto it. Stabilized out to about 20,000, just about 21,000 drops per hour. So that is about 10,000 nuggets and 10,000 flesh each. Okay, so you guys can go at the farm if you want to with your, you know, looting three sword and determine that all you want. But you can see there we're averaging out to about 20,000 drops per hour. This is the one that does 90,000. Okay, and I did the same test too before, and you can see it even balanced out to being the same exact numbers pretty much. But anyways, there you have it, you guys. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a like, shop happy chapter for your world downloads, make sure you're subscribed, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Love you guys all. Peace.